All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, build a technical documentation page, user stories number 14. So on regular size devices, laptops, desktops, the element with ID nav bar should be shown on the left side of the screen and should always be visible to the user. All right. Well, remember in the last video, uh, when we did it, it was still saying this. That's because this one, we're going to have to do some CSS. All right. So let's get rid of these instructions because uh, this thing is uh, kind of unwieldy right now. And we can get rid of the preview just for a second uh, in the console, just for a second. But uh, first things first, what we're going to need to do is link this CSS page to this HTML page. And we're going to do that by having the uh, link and rel right here. So we're gonna, we'll say uh, link. And then inside this, we'll say rel equals style sheet. And then after that, we'll do a an href, and we'll say that equals uh, dot slash styles dot CSS, right? So it's uh, targeting this right here, all right? So now that we've got that, we can start doing some uh, CSS work. Let's bring back the preview. Uh, so let's start first by uh, getting this over to the left side and fixed over there so that it uh, so that it's always available. So first we're going to target the nav ID, ID nav bar. So we're targeting this whole thing from topic till the end of uh, text five, filter text, filler text five, link. Okay, anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, so what we're doing here, we're gonna say uh, hashtag nav bar. And then we're gonna do this right here. And so what we want to do is put it over on the left side at all times. So we're going to do the position, position fixed, all right? So now it's always over there. You see this came up because it's no longer, uh, the this box is no longer on top of this box. This box is always over here now. So uh, also let's get these uh, filler text links to go one on top of the other. So we see over here the... Uh, class if they're in these a's i should say they're in these a's so let's uh target the nav bar nav bar and specifically the a elements inside of it the anchor tags and then what we're going to do here is say something like this we're going to do uh display block i think display is now block i think that'll work yep just like that all right, so now that we've got that, now that we've got this, uh, the main document is now in the way. So we're going to sit it over a little bit by giving it a uh, margin left, I think. Yeah, we're going to do a margin left and send it this way. So we'll target that by targeting the main doc. It won't uh, affect the nav bar stuff because it's already fixed over here, but it will affect everything else. So we'll come down here and say uh, ID main, oops main hyphen doc and then we're going to say uh what is it? margin left margin left is now uh 200 px All right that didn't work so great uh this is fixed what's the problem oh it's fixed but it's fixed on this plane so let's bring it over by putting left on there so let's say uh left the left side of it is now at zero all right cool well that brought it over awesome i was looking at like what is going on here all right cool uh so now that we've got that going on uh what should we do now let's let's bring this away from the side and the top just a little bit by giving it some uh padding so let's say padding is now uh 20 px about that all right, cool. So it came down a little bit and uh, over a little bit. So now we've got that. Let's put some space in between these fillers uh, by coming over to this nav bar and uh, is that what it is? Let's come over here. Oh, hmm, hmm. the A's. 
Let's give them all a margin bottom of 20. Let's see what that does. Margin bottom. And let's see. What are we doing? Margin bottom of 20 px. It's a little too big. Let's uh, make it uh, 10, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. That'll be good. All right, cool. Uh, so now we've got that. So let's also put some space between the topic and the filler text. So we're going to target uh, the header. So we'll come up here and say uh, nav bar header like that. And we'll say uh, margin bottom, margin bottom. Let's do that uh, 20. All right, that looks good. But the thing is, this is the same size as this. So let's change the font size of that stuff too. So let's come over here and say font uh, size. And let's do it. Uh, let's do it the golden ratio. Let's say 1.618. No, no, 618, 618 EM. All right. And then let's do this. And let's do this. All right. So this is 1.618 bigger than what's normal. And since both of these have the same uh, size, the same font size, uh, this one's going to be golden ratio bigger than this one. Let's bring it a little bit closer to give it that real feeling. Uh, nav bar, margin bottom. Let's give it a margin bottom of 12 also. How about that? I want it closer. Let's give it 8. That'll work. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, what is this? These are, these are all 12. What's 60% of 12? I don't know. I don't know. 60%. 12 divided by 6. What's 60% of 12? I don't know. I don't know. Man, I feel like an idiot. I know how to figure it out, though. 12. 1, 2. Times 0.6. Times. Where are you at? Times 0.6. 7.2. Okay. We'll do 7, then. Margin bottom, seven. All right, so that should be real nice. All right, cool. Uh, sorry for wasting your time, but whatever. Sorry, sorry, sorry doesn't cut it. Well, sorry. Anyway, so that's good right there. Uh, should we do anything else to this? Oh, let's get rid of these underlines for sure. Let's say uh, nav bar A, uh, that's what these are. And let's get that rid of the text decoration. So let's say text decoration is now uh, none, like that. And there we go, it's gone. And that looks good enough. Uh, previews there, let's get the instructions up. Uh, let's get rid of the HTML. And let's come down here and run the test. It's gonna be the same as it was. Uh, yeah, just like that. So no big deal, we're good on that one. And now we're on to, what is it? Story 15A, see you next time.